Hello everybody, I am Inder and hope you are doing well. This is our third video in the uh, Archuria Mini Lab MK2. This keyboard has been around for quite some time and uh, for logic users, sometimes some users run into a uh, couple of issues like uh, jumpy uh, encoders or sometimes the encoders don't work the way they work on the standalone. So we have uh, the standalone uh, analog lab open and uh, I'm on the same default patch but I have changed the pad color to white so here we have cut off working resonance and all the knobs are working according to how they're supposed to work in this particular preset now let's open logic and see the first ever setup. So it was probably your first time when you uh, connected your mini lab and logic opened. Then it would ask you something. Do you want to automatically assign the controls of the Archuria Minilab MK2? Now you have to keep in mind that if you auto assign, then Logic is gonna auto assign a smart controller surface script and then these knobs will not work the way they work in the standalone version. I'm gonna show you what logic does if you auto assign you're seeing the initial pages because i uh, did a reset of my preferences so let's just open an empty project software instrument and here if you see electric piano is open and you open its smart controls then these knobs will be assigned to control the parameters within smart controls and they're not rightly numbered like you won't know because all the instruments in logic they have different smart controller knob settings and you can go and check from control surfaces that in the controller assignments first you won't see it because we need to make some changes in the preferences let's head over to the preferences and go to advanced tools enable all and then if you come to controller assignments in expert view you will see that logic pro initiated these smart controls it auto assigned its own script if you did not do the setting then probably you went into control surfaces setup and let's say you went to install and then you have all these models listed and you have Archuria if you add it from here also then the same behavior will be shown um, logic does not create uh, anything specifically for this controller because logic follows Mackie control units or their HUI so in order to undo this there is one small thing that you need to do in preferences see here we have controller surface tab now the controls are not related to MIDI 
and some people feel that midi remote needs to be off or on but this midi remote only um, signals towards the logic app which is provided to people who have ipads and iphones having this on or off will only disable or enable the app if you have the ipad or iphone this is general midi setting but we want to change the control surface setting all you want to do is go to midi controllers in control surfaces and you will have your archuria mini lab mk2 you just need to uncheck this right if it remains checked then suppose if you start a new software instrument which is archuria analog lab then these controls will not work the way they work on the standalone we are in logic right now now see in synths let's just select any synth first of all our filter browsing is not working our preset browsing is not working I'm in the default pad, default analog lab. These knobs, they don't work because right now there is a conflict in the scripts because logic is prioritizing its control, smart control script. That's why these knobs are jumpy, right? So all you have to do to basically make your analog experience, see the smart controller knobs will work, but analog lab will not work. So just go to your control surface preferences and select MIDI controller and uncheck Archuria. When you do this, then from the setup Archuria that you selected will go away and we have our new analog lab track and here we are in the analog lab mode so the synth basically we can do filter browsing we can do preset browsing and for this particular instrument we have Cut off control, resonance, LFO rate, LFO amount, chorus. So now all these knobs are working. The only setting to change if you auto assigned is to go to Logic Pro X, control surface preferences control surface preferences these are general you want to come to MIDI controllers and uncheck your keyboard from the MIDI controller control surfaces tab not from MIDI in MIDI inputs we still have Archuria mini lab but we are not talking about MIDI we are talking about control surfaces uncheck and that's it this is how you uh, get rid of any bouncy knobs and you can operate analog lab within logic pro without any glitch or any kind of jumpy knobs i hope you um, like uh, this video and it was helpful to you i'll uh, come back with more videos on midi mapping uh, within logic pro with Archuria Mini Lab. So take care and see you later. Bye.